I want to greet you. This is a very little, a very brief, uh, special, uh, what I call a YouTube update on our YouTube channel, the Perry Stone YouTube channel. And I want to just uh, share a few thoughts on the coronavirus as it relates to President Trump. When the announcement was made that President Trump had contacted the coronavirus, there were uh, actually two opposing uh, schools of thought that arose and people became very outspoken in both of those schools of thought. And this is something that I know that you're aware of. The extreme left was very happy. Some of them actually posted and made statements that they hoped it would kill him, that they, hope, they hoped that he would die, which I can't imagine anybody being so hard-hearted and wicked thinking in their mind that they would hope anyone would die with a virus. Because I don't think that is a statement that anyone with a human heart would make. Someone like Pharaoh of the Old Testament with a calloused heart, someone with a hard heart, Romans 1, someone with a reprobate mind, yes. But not someone who is just a normal person. You're not gonna wish your enemies die of that, you know, because it's a, it's a horrible way to pass when you can't breathe. And I've had about six of my friends uh, who have passed away as a result of the virus because they had pre-existing conditions. So it's not something I would want anyone to, to get. In fact, I hope that they find the cure quickly or some, something that will uh, take this virus away and we can deal with it for, for the sake of everyone. The, op the opposing group was people who support him. Uh, many who are evangelical Christians and Catholics uh, as well, let's just say religious folks, who said they're praying for him and praying for a speedy recovery. Now, one of the things I began to look at, and I'm going to look at this from a very different perspective. I'm going to look at this from an objective view, but yet a practical view as well. One of the things that makes it interesting about this, and there are conspiracy theories that are arising, is there's almost uh, uh, no people of the Democratic Party coming up with, and of course they're talking about it's because we wear masks, and it might be, but there have been a number of Republicans that have come down with this, especially some senators. And some people are suggesting, how did this happen? Because is this some conspiracy or some behind the scenes uh, way the deep state is trying to affect the vote for this new Supreme Court justice. I'm not one that gets into conspiracy theories because I would have to have facts laid before me before I would suggest anything of that nature. I just think it's just, again, the spread of the virus. And there may be more to it, I don't know, but I'm not saying that there is. But it does arouse suspicion and curiosity to some point. But here's one of the advantages of President Trump getting the virus. By him getting it, and he's taking a new type of, uh, they call it a cocktail, that's not an alcoholic drink. It's just certain uh, drugs and different things uh, that are part of this. If he can recover from this as a 74 year old man, who's not totally in shape when it comes to what we would talk about physical shape, but has great mental clarity and great energy, doesn't go to bed till after midnight, gets up at four and five in the morning, and he's able to recover and he's able to go back out and do what he needs to do. I tell you what it does or it does for me. It gives me hope that what they are developing will actually work. It gives me some hope that somehow this virus, which has been deadly, can be defeated. And I think it actually can work to his advantage in the sense of people seeing that he, do, he was taken care of with some of the new medicines that came out and it helped him. Now, at the time I'm taping this, it's yet to be seen if he will recover, if he'll have any uh, side effects. That's yet to be seen. But I do want to say that uh, anyone who comes down with this, and if you've hear, heard that a person you know or a friend or relative has come down with it, they definitely need prayer, whoever they are. Because uh, for my friends who have survived the more serious cases, they said it was hellish. It was hard. Some of my friends said they couldn't breathe. And uh, I, I can't imagine what that's like. So in closing, take care of yourself. Uh, Pam and I wear a mask 
not because we're afraid of other people, but we wear it because we don't want to come down with it and spread it to other people. So we have no problem with masks. It's not a conspiracy to me. And we wash our hands often, and we try to do everything we can to take care of ourselves and our family. My daughter has already had corona and has already gone through it weeks and weeks ago. In fact, uh, the school she goes to, there was about, uh, I don't know, 40 students that had it at one time. No one died. It was a very mild case. It's very mild a lot of times in young people, mostly a headache and a fever. And, uh, you know, some uh, one day I think that she felt a little breathing difficulty. But let's pray for people that have this and let's pray that we find a cure. This nation needs to get back to work. Our people who aren't working need to get back to work. The restaurants need to open. All the things need to get back in order. Now, we do know that God works in very strange ways. And we do know that what could look like it's evil could be turned around for good at some point. So let's trust God and let's pray. And let's pray for the president and let's pray for everyone in the political arena that the will of God will be done. I would suggest to you, if you've not registered to vote, do so. And uh, be sure and vote one way or the other. Let your voice be heard in this very, very important election. Just a little word, just a few thoughts I wanted to leave with so many of our friends out there. Pray for us as well as we continue to try to find the mind of God for the next phase of our ministry. God bless you. Click the like button and subscribe to this channel and never miss a video by clicking the bell to get the alerts when a new video is posted. This YouTube channel is made possible by your generous donations. So to support our outreach of teaching, visit perrystone.org slash YT.